This video will demonstrate the integration between Red Hat Virtualization 4.4 and OpenShift Virtualization. Starting at the Red Hat Virtualization Administrator console, let's first browse to the clusters for this deployment. Clicking on the kubevert cluster shows some basic details which are being collected from the OpenShift Virtualization cluster. The host tab displays all of the OpenShift nodes, however the control plane nodes are marked as unavailable or down since they are not candidates for hosting virtual machines. Adding the OpenShift Virtualization cluster to Red Hat Virtualization is done as an external provider in the same manner that a Red Hat OpenStack cluster is added. From the Virtual Machines view, we see the two existing VMs, and switching to the OpenShift Administrator console, we can see those same virtual machines. Let's create a new virtual machine. We will make this a simple VM using a Fedora 31 container image for the disk. The small flavor represents one CPU and two gigabytes of RAM. Last, we will provide a unique name for the virtual machine. We don't need to modify the default network or storage configuration, so let's skip those steps and create the VM. From the OpenShift Virtual Machines view, we see our newly created VM in a powered off status. Switching to Red Hat Virtualization and refreshing the VM list, we see the new VM as well. Reviewing the details, the CPU and memory adhere to the size selected from the OpenShift wizard. From here, let's turn on the virtual machine. Switching back to OpenShift, the virtual machine is in the process of starting. Since this is the first time the VM has been started, we are waiting for the container image being used for the VM disk to be pulled to the host. After a moment, the VM starts, which is reflected in both interfaces. For the sake of simplicity, I'll use NoVNC to connect to the console from Rev using the browser. A few lines are scrolling by as the operating system is booting. Let's switch to OpenShift, where we can see the console is still there and the boot is progressing. We aren't going to do anything with this VM, so let's power it off from OpenShift. Switching to Red Hat Virtualization, we see the status is reflected there as well, and since we are here, let's go ahead and remove the VM. After a moment, it's gone from both the Rev and OpenShift interfaces. Thank you for watching this exciting look at the integration between Red Hat Virtualization and OpenShift Virtualization. Please look for more information in the future at openshift.com.